Hello students, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today, actually, I received a very good news. One of our research students, school research students, got an admission offer from Stanford University. Earlier this week, she informed me that she also got admission offers from University of Pennsylvania, Carnegie Mellon University, and so on. She is a very hardworking student. She has been working with us for about 8 to 12 months right now. Before that, she also worked on the Math Olympiad program for American Math Competitions. You know, I'll tell you a little story about this entire process of school research. About 20 plus kids started the process from the point where she also started. And then, one by one, those 20, 19 of those 20 kids dropped off from the process. Because Chinta research programs can be really rigorous and they can be really demanding. Uh, there are quite a few so-called research project organizations which uh, will make you do something frivolous, something simple that looks quite serious and then get them published in some so-called journals who would publish your work for let's say $400. This is a very big scam that is going on uh, and that's entrapping many high school students. I would request you, do not be trapped. This particular kid, she even did not publish the work in any so-called high school journals. She sent it as an additional material to the university applications. She also talked about it in the statement of purpose. What's important about a research project is this. You have to demonstrate two things. One is depth of knowledge and the other thing is creativity. Depth of knowledge can be only gained by hard work, by sheer hard work. This particular project was on a topic called hyperbolic geometry. So this kid had to go quite a bit beyond the school curriculum, work really hard closely with her mentor Sachinta and learn a ton of topology, group theory. And she did not have a lot of background on these advanced topics. She started from scratch. She didn't know what is a group. She started literally from scratch. And, but she pushed, pushed on, she pushed on, and she could actually learn a substantial amount of group theory, hyperbolic geometry, topology, and so on, in about 8 to 10 months. And then she applied it in the paper. First part of the paper was uh, mostly a survey from a uh, group theoretic and topological point of view on hyperbolic geometry. The second part was an application in a very interesting social science phenomena. Maybe in a, some later ep episode, I'll ask her to come, come forward and you know tell you more about the entire process. But as a faculty, as an advisor, uh, I just wanted to share with you that A, look out for depth of knowledge and creativity. B, avoid scams. Avoid paying money to journals to publish whatever you have written. No serious journal would do that, but there are a lot of scams going on these days. So we have to be very, very honest about our work. Now, Another thing is that she obviously prepared for the Mathematical Olympiads before starting the research projects. So it's very important that you try that as well because once you try problems from Mathematical Olympiads, whether you are successful or not in a certain Olympiad, it opens up your mind. It actually lets you think about mathematics, physics, computer science, etc from a different perspective, from a non-routine perspective. She also worked quite a bit on American math competitions, uh, but she was not extremely successful in that. She was decently su successful, but her main stay was the research project, which really worked out well, I think. And if you are a student at Chinta right now, in this year, we have plenty of applications for research programs. We have two research programs going on, one on artificial intelligence, or the other is on geometric group theory. So if you are a student attending one of those two programs, or if you are presently attending the Mathematics Olympiad or Physics Olympiad or Informatics Olympiad program, I request you 
that focus on depth of knowledge. That's the main important thing in this age of chat GPT, in this age of large language models. There are too many people trying to fake their way into the system. You should not do that for a couple of reasons. First of all, the admissions committees in the universities will get really good at catching these fake thesis or fake research papers. And secondly, it won't do anything good to you. You won't be learning anything. That's the main goal, to learn something substantial that's very enjoyable. So um, I hope you are doing great mathematics or physics or computer science, whatever you are doing at Chinta. And I hope you are also working on some new ideas, you're thinking about new things. Check the link in the description if you want to join us. Thank you for watching this video. I again congratulate that particular kid. I am not saying the name out aloud because she has not yet accepted any of those offers right now. And it might be a little bit of a private thing for her. So I'm not saying the name, but eventually we will request her to give a talk here. Just like we requested Anushka last year to give a talk on her journey toward MIT or Aryan Kalia for, her, for his journey toward Harvard. So I'm sure we will be listening from her too. Uh, in the meantime, keep on doing good work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.